Hello, my name is Kevin, and in this video I'm gonna be making a bar skeleton figurine. I did a skeleton last time, so I think this will be pretty fun. So let's get started. For starters, I have to make an armature, an, an armature, uh, a skeleton wire or a wire skeleton. This is to make sure the, the clay doesn't warp. Oh, this trick. Uh, this is a really common trick to make a thicker wire. It's very nice. As you can see, the end result is pretty, pretty tight and pretty smooth, pretty good. And this is pretty easy, really. I have to just follow my drawings and make sure the proportions are right as I want it. And that's it, really. So, uh, for those who don't know Joel, Vinesos Joel is a Swedish YouTuber known for his let's play videos and comedic formatted videos and shows. He's a game developer. His most famous game is the Evil Horror Farming game. His favorite band is Metallica and his favorite food is chips. Yeah, I think that's fine for now. As you can see, I made this little fella but yeah, it's very, it's very bad for now. So to fix that, I'm gonna be using this other wire I found on the floor, I think, in the street. You know, it's not that good of an idea to pick up things from the floor, especially during a pandemic. But you know, it's free and I like free things, so I will keep it. I made, I did this to make sure it's a little bit tougher. As you can see, I'm just trying to set up the pose a little bit. It, it, it doesn't have to be perfect after all, it's just the skeleton. It is, the whole thing will be covered in clay in a bit. So who cares if it doesn't look very good as long as it doesn't, you, you know, uh, yeah, that because this whole thing will be covered in clay after all. And talking about clay, the clay I will be using uh, is a cold porcelain. Uh, it's a commercial stuff, it's not the DIY method. I don't really like the DIY method. It's a little bit more, uh, you know, bad. My process Right here is just making sausages and wrapping around the wires with with the sausages. It's not that complicated, I think. Uh, this thing you can uh, smooth it out with uh, a little bit of water. I'm cutting the, the, the arms who are the arms wires because I realize it will be a pain to make the torso uh, with the arms in the middle so they will be removable for for now at least. I'm I am making this little bowl to make the head. It doesn't have to be that precise. This thing is very easy to cut with a hobby knife as long as it's very sharp. And this thing is kind of flexible for a couple of days. So you can really make sure the, 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 the pose is on point. As you can see, I am smoothing it out. As I am smoothing things uh, using a knife thing and water. This material is not that great, 
but I like it. It's pretty subjective. Subjective. Sub subject. It's, it's, it's just my opinion, but I think it's pretty relaxing, and that's a reason that well, that well, I mean, I keep I keep using it just because it's very cheap in comparison to epoxy or things like that. Let's look around for now. I have the legs right here, the head right here, and the arms right here. And they are kind of similar to the proportions of my drawing. I made a little guiding lines for later. And the arms You know. It was a better idea in my mind, but okay. As you can see, I made a couple more of pieces. For example, the head. I made his um, little um, mushroom hat. Mushroom sombrero, you can say. And I, I worked on the, on the head. As you can see, I really like it. I made a pretty rough torso, it's not um, really finished, I made a little butt and the boots, I started the boots because well, uh, this thing is very hard to control when it's uh, fresh, so I prefer doing this in steps, I have to wait a couple of days before the next one to make sure I don't ruin my scooping. But it's pretty easy to glue the dry parts and the new stuff. You just have to use a little bit of water or PVA glue if you want to and smooth it out with uh, water. It's not that hard to be honest. So, uh, Joel, you all worked for a bit as a bus driver. He traveled around the whole Arizona desert, and when he got tired of buses, he decided to be a plane pilot. His last flight was from Sweden to Brazil and back, singing and screaming the whole time. Maybe that's why he retired.
Uh, I have already made this little shotgun. I think you might recognize it from a little game. You know that. That's right. Halo. Okay. And I made these little horns. They are basically tea drops of clay. And the arms that are very ugly. But I can fix this later, adding more clay, so it's not that of, that big of a deal. Hold on, I have to adjust the camera. Uh, you know, kind of. Okay. Yeah, that's right. As you can see, I have the 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 the, 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 the hat with one horn. I have to glue the other. I have the arms that are better than before, but they need they need a little bit of work still. I have the pants that I made a little folds and things, and the boots that I made a little cylinder on the top to make it look better. And you can see a lot of roughness that I will smooth with this paintbrush and a little bit of water.
you can see, I moved in time. This is the future, and I already uh, felt okay. I can sh still show you the the painting. I already primed it in in gray. Look at those eyes. That was a pain, to be honest with you. But let's paint it. I made this little drawing, and these are the colors I will use. Well, for some reason, my past self decided to, oops, the, the painting step is not that interesting, so I will not uh, record it. Uh, so <laughs> I'm sorry, but I will have to show you the, the final build like it is, like this, without any record of the painting. I'm sorry. Here we go. You know, I think it's good, but it needs it needs something else. Like I don't know, it feels so alone. It it needs like a friend. friend. 